Owning a boat is a bit like starting a new relationship. And sometimes you start that relationship with a little bit of anxiety. Sometimes you start it quite joyfully. And sometimes you start it in a very quiet, meaningful way. And this is the story of Piccolo, our cruising dinghy. We've been looking for a cruising dinghy for a long time and we've finally found her. She's not a racing dinghy. We've got ones for that sort of purpose. But no, Piccolo, she is made for adventures. Luca, meet Piccolo. Is this made of wood? No. With it being Anzac weekend, we had the perfect opportunity to head down to a place called Snug to camp along the beach and explore the Northwest Bay. This is the next bay up from Kettering, an absolutely delightful sheltered water full of fun and things to explore. hope in this video that we can convey to you the feelings that sailing a dinghy like Piccolo evokes of family time, of fun and of course of appreciating the natural beauty that surrounds us down here in Tasmania. While stunningly beautiful the super low tide did present a little bit of a launching problem. They were also filming a TV show down by the Snug River, which is the usual launching point, so it made things a little bit of a logistical challenge. However, we did get her in the water, and with just a few centimetres spare, we managed to drag her all the way around so that we could rig her up. At this point, it was so shallow, I'm not even sure why we were trying to row, but it was fun anyway. Even the little dogs walked out and jumped in the boat. Do you know what would we'll just finish it off? The skin? dolphins. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> gin and dolphins. <laughs> you know. A gin in hand? A gin. It dolphins. is only like 9.30. No, it's not. 10? No, it's quarter to 11. Oh, wow, that's gone fast. <laughs> it's quarter to gin. Quarter, <laughs> quarter to gin o'clock. <laughs> when does the bottle shop open? <laughs> 10. Oh God, if I start drinking now, that'll be the end of me. Me too. For this special trip, we were joined by our old friends, Cindy and Lockie, in their restored caravan, Bubbles. You'll get to see her later on. She's rather cute. I think there's something very special about sharing sailing with friends, but particularly on this occasion when we were welcoming a new dinghy into the family. It made it extra special to share it with Cindy and Lockie and also Ben, Karen and another Lockie when they came down. Our Springbank dinghy is nearly 40 years old and she has added 50 kilos of ballast in her. That makes her extra stable. I've never been able to walk around a dinghy before but this little boat feels like a mini yacht. Straight wake, Louie. Oh, well, straighten up then. 
me, mate. This is kind of our special little dinghy. I have not been able to do this on a dinghy ever. No, how cool is it? Mm, it's cool. Very floaty. I really enjoyed sailing on Piccolo. She was really stable. She was almost like a mini yacht. And I've never been able to walk around on a dinghy before because when you walk around on a dinghy, it's normally really rocky and awful. So calm out here. What happened to my life jacket? It's in my boot. Oh, that's Mount Wellington. Huh? Oh, yeah. Did you not notice? I didn't process. I know it's, I know you can see it for snug, but yeah, it's good to see. Are you dragging your hand in the water? No. That's fish. <laughs> I don't believe Oh, you. look at the fishlings. Are there lots of them? Oh, you mean the dogs? Yeah, I mean the dogs, and they're in the water there. I think that's the beauty about one of these size boats too, is you don't really get wet as much as little ones. Yeah, she does feel, you know, much more substantial and dry than the mirror. She's got quite a bit more freeboard than the mirror, that's yeah. for sure. I love that sparkly water. Ben, Lucky and Karen liked it so much that they took it out for a spin themselves. They even took it to conning him. Dad caught a fish while Piccolo was yep. sailing. In fact, he caught a puffer fish and a leather jacket, but we released them both.
know, that would be the perfect little swimming hole there. Wouldn't it be? It would be at the moment. Mm. It wasn't this morning. No. Mm. Soka. After we retired back to the camp, we got treated to a night sky full of dancing lights with the Aurora Australis turning on at around 10 o'clock. I got up at two o'clock to check Piccolo and it was still going. It was just stunning. Absolutely. Oh, look at that sun. I don't like your chances. Well, Cindy. Yeah. Thank you, darling. Just by the two tinnies over there. So, Cindy, what do you think of the boat? I think she's gorgeous. I love her. <laughs> Me too. Much camping ahead, I feel. As far as introductions to boats goes, I don't think we could have asked for a better weekend. Piccolo is amazing, and I really do think we have so many camping adventures ahead in her. So dinghy cruising, here we come. We can't wait to share the adventures with you. <laughs>